It's been a long road to recovery for a little St. Mary's Idaho girl, viciously abused by her mother and her boyfriend. It was so bad that three-year-old Kyra Wine's feet had to be amputated in 2008. Spokane doctors today fitted her with some new prosthetics. Creme Two's John Langler caught up with Kyra and her family. Kyra Wine has been fighting for almost her whole life. Two years ago, she fought to stay alive. Today, her battle is a little different and a lot more common. Gotcha! Fighting with her sister, not cleaning up her bedroom, uh, leaving toys in the living room. Getting into trouble with Grandma. She gets in trouble every, every single day. We first saw Kyra in October. Didn't see the toys in there? It was the first time we could see her not as a victim of neglect, but as a rambunctious little girl. Morning. Today, it was the same old Kyra. She's come a long, long way and, and in a pretty short period of time. Don Christensen helps her with her prosthetic legs. These are stubbies, a sort of all-terrain leg for kids. They help her walk, run, and in some cases, sprint. You know, she's just come so far from where she was, too. It's, it's very gratifying. For Kyra Wine, her first five years have been one hard step after another. And while she's making progress, the mental and physical recovery is still ongoing. She's noticing that other kids are noticing that she's not what they consider normal. She needs to learn what to say to these people or to answer, you know, because they're going to ask and they're going to stare and they're going to. People are curious. Kyra's recovery is nothing short of remarkable. She starts kindergarten in the fall, and her communication tests put her a year ahead of her classmates. As Deanna Wine says, Kyra will be okay. No, nothing Kyra's not going to be able to do, I don't think, except get in trouble with me. In Spokane, John Langler, Creme 2 News.